building represents so much of Guam's early political history. Construction began in 1947 as the capital city of Haganya was recovering from the devastation of World War II. The building was officially opened on Liberation Day, July 21, 1948. It was also around that time that the naval governor bestowed legislative powers on the Guam Congress, but retained full veto rights. Congress members famously staged a walkout in protest, setting off an important chain of events. Joe Kinata is with the Guam Preservation Trust. That was what made this building uh, historic. It is in both the local and national register of historic places, uh, and it was eligible for uh, for funding from the trust. Not long after the walkout, oversight of Guam was transferred from the military to the Department of Interior, and a civilian was appointed to replace the naval governor. A year later in 1950, President Harry S. Truman signed the Organic Act, granting Guamanians U.S. citizenship. This is where uh, the people's voice uh, can be heard. This is where uh, the movers and shakers for the governments and for the island really where it sits. A rededication ceremony and public open house is scheduled for Thursday. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Leconto.